you hope you're all doing well and amazing god bless you so i watch like a ton of these kind of videos and hey there's gonna always be another person added to the mix right <laughs> um and usually i don't do these kind of videos if you're new to my channel i usually just do like Jesus videos and videos about being Catholic and stuff like that. Um, my name is Kia, by the way. Today, I wanted to do a different kind of video and I wanted to talk about this toddler learning folder. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera so you guys can actually see the book here, um, the binder. And I got, just so we know, <laughs> I got this from JDA who is inspirational homeschool mom uh, here on YouTube and um, she has a website where I will link it in the description where you can basically down download all of this stuff and some things I got randomly um, on line and I might not be able to remember where I got it from so I apologize for that and other things I got from totschooling.net. So I just want to say like a, a quick thing. You know, I, I really love JDA. I love her video. She is this awesome and amazing. Um, so I didn't know like what to put into a toddler learning folder. Like I, this is my first kid. I don't know anything. <laughs> so I, I bought it because I was like, I don't know what it, like, what do you put in it? Like what's in it? And I did watch like a few videos of people, you know, telling you what to put in it. And I was like, well, it's just easier if I just buy it because it's like all together. Um, and then after I had went and bought it, it's not that much money. Um, but anyway, after I had went and bought it, I learned about totschooling.net and they have so many free things that you can get on there so I would just say that even though this wasn't expensive if maybe it's not like in your budget or whatever to actually get something like that you can go ahead and go to totschooling.net just join the little subscription situation and they have a subscribers page and you can just print 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 <laughs> Um, there's also um, this Reading Mama, um, Fun with Mama, like those websites that you can go on there and whatever, you know, if it's something like similar to this or whatever you want to activity you want to do with your child, you can go ahead and print it. So I got this when my daughter was about, I think she was like 16 months old. If I'm not mistaken, she was about like 16 months old. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so enough talking from me and I will show you what's in here. Okay. So here we are, toddler learning folder. And obviously this is my daughter's name, Nairobi Amaya. So let's open this one up. So I have some sheets over here. Um, these I got from Top Schooling and... These you would use with the counting bears. So I have like a little bucket over here of the counting bears. So, you know, you do one, two, and, you know, obviously you say one, two, three, four, and then you help them um, with counting and stuff like that. So this is a good one, and it goes through up until 10 and my daughter actually really loves the, doing this okay and now this one is the cookie jar so I haven't cut them out yet and put them together because I need more velcro dots but you guys I want to show you some like books that you can also incorporate with these like little worksheets um, and this one, The Best Mouse Cookie, is such a cute book. My daughter loves it. It's this little mouse who is baking these cookies. It's so cute. And um, it goes along with if you give a mouse a cookie. So this one is The Best Mouse Cookie. And it's very, very cute. <laughs> so, yeah, you have... You know, you can count one, one, two, and then match it to the numbers and also has matching to the words, which she wouldn't be ready for yet, but I just printed it all out so I can just have it. Okay, 
And this one I have um, printed one, I mean, I have like set up one of the sheets. I'll show it to you. Um, but it's, it's like, you know, alphabet matching. It has a little band-aid. It's so cute. So it has the uppercase and the lowercase. Okay, and then here I couldn't remember any kids nursery rhymes. Isn't that crazy? So I had to print them out, but it's cool to have because then we go through it and we say, hey, diddle, diddle, the cat in the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. You know, we point to it as we're um, singing it. And then my daughter loves Humpty Dumpty. Ugh. You know how many times I have said this? <laughs> and Hickory Dickory Dock, Little Miss Muffet. And then here is the alphabet. So these are the uppercase letters and then the lowercase letters. And the way I do this is I point to each one of them and I sing the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Y'all know the alphabet song. <laughs> but I want to show you guys some books um, that you can incorporate with that. And it's the Very Hungry um, Caterpillars ABCs. So it just goes through the alphabet. And there's Dr. Seuss's ABC and A Amazing Alphabet book. This one is cute, um, you know, true Dr. Seuss style, of course. And also Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Who doesn't like Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? I love books, so, you know, that's why I want to talk about the books also. Like, you can read those books and then have them do, and then do this sheet with them. Or do the sheet first and then read the book, whatever you want to do. And this is the numbers. So you can print out a second sheet and have them match the numbers. Or you can just go through it. One, two, three, four, five. And the book I have to go with that is One is One by Tasha Tudor. Um, this is such a nice little classical book. And you can count like, oh, how many sisters are there? One, two. How many birds are there? One, two. And it goes, you know, just keeps going. It's such a nice book. Every other page is either color or black and white. And this one, oh, forget about it. So... <laughs> It's the five little monkeys and my daughter absolutely loves this. So of course it corresponds to this book, five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. And um, I also have these little figures so she can hold these as we read the book. And um, or you can read the book and have them pull each of the monkeys off. It's uh, for counting over here is numbers that you put here. So you put like five, four, three, two, one. I just didn't bring them over here. But you know, you say a uh, five little monkey jumping on the bed. One, two, three, four, five. One fell off and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So you just go through it. You probably have to do that at least 20 times. <laughs> And this one, my daughter loves. This is supposed to be for like counting one, two, three, four, but we use it for like pretend play. So you said, mmm, can I have some ice cream? Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, it's delicious. And um, she tries to eat all the ice cream. And I printed this the weird way. I didn't even realize when I printed it. But if you guys can, you know, make sure you turn it so that you can have like a bigger layout. Um, and then this is also more numbers. So I tried to organize this um, binder where I just put like the same things together. And um, then, but you'll see towards the end that like I just scratched that. <laughs> but I tried to put like all the numbers together, all the colors together and stuff like that. So this is just matching. Um, obviously, you would take all of these off and you're like, where's number one? Oh, here it is. Where's number two? Oh, here it is. And then have them match that. And this is number quantity, so this is more counting. One, two, three, four. Where's number four? Obviously, you would take all these off first and then count, and then they can pick out number four and, um, you know, number five and stuff like that. And, you know, take their little hand and have them count. <laughs> and um, this is, you know, another counting activity as well. Um, obviously, like I said, you take these off and then how many dinosaurs are there? 
one where's number one and then they'll place it now this one these I printed out because I was like okay I gotta teach this kid the colors <laughs> so I was like okay I'm print this I'll print out something that has all the colors on it so I did and then I was like oh hi red I am red hi red and then I went through these you know for vocabulary I say all of these are red and just go like that and then I have blue yellow um these I printed out and you're supposed to sort like all the red things here all the yellow things here and the blue things here my daughter didn't really get that she just kept putting them like on top here because this is white so you'll see that I um colored some other ones just so that she could understand like you know you're supposed to put it like there like that but this is what really helps her learn her colors I feel like this taught her her colors um matching these little penguins hats and so obviously you take them off and then you say where's the blue one's hat oh here it is where does the green one's hat go oh here it goes and then you know so on so she really liked this she thought it was so cute she loved doing this she still likes doing that, even though this, even though she knows all her colors. And then I was going to do again with green and purple. And then these are all the colors again. And you can, you know, first introduce them to the colors. Blue, red. This kind of looks orange, so it's like it didn't print out too great, but it's red. Yellow, orange, purple, green. And then um, once you, they're learning, you can say, can you point to blue? And then they point to blue. And then this is another penguin one. And this one goes with, with all the little kids' favorite book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? And you can um, go through the book with them and have it be interactive. And then they can put the red bird on the red dot um, if you want. And the yellow duck and whatever else it is. And then this is what I was talking about where I had to like color it because my daughter was not understanding. <laughs> so I just had to color it and then now she puts the, like the pieces, you know, where they go. I didn't Velcro this and this was like, she could just place it there. So place all the, you know, and just sort it. Sorting is a pre-math um, activity. So it's good for them to do a, a lot of sorting. I also want to show this book really fast. Um, this is First Colors, Shapes, and Numbers. So this is like one of the first books we ever got her. Um, and so it's just cute, you know. But you can use this as well um, to help them with their colors if you want. There's other books, of course, and obviously the Brown Bear book, too. Okay, so this is the shape. So there's a Melissa and Doug puzzle that basically looks exactly like this. And that's how she learned her shapes from that puzzle. But anyway, it's just, um, of course, matching the um, shapes. And this is a little hard because it's the shadows. Um, this one she loves doing. This is a free printable from Tot Schooling. I'm sorry I'm not saying, like, which one is from Tot Schooling and stuff like that. I'm just talking about it, but I will um, try to find them as best as I can and link them. But she loves, I don't, she just loves ice cream. So you um, obviously would take everything off and they would match the shapes to it. So she loves doing this page. Um, there's is some color and shape story. So this is a little hard because not only are they sorting by color, but also the different shapes. So this is a try like, so, you know, you have two triangles or three triangles, but this is a blue one and a yellow one. So they have to pay attention. Like, where does the blue triangle go? At first they'll try to put it like, if, you know, they'll know the shape and know the triangle. They'll try to really, like, mm, that's not blue. That's yellow. Where's the blue one? And then they'll just put it. Sorry, I'm like looking through the camera, so <laughs> it's the, I'm getting like wobbly. And then this is another one. This one is hard because you have some things that are the same color, but they're different shapes. But it's still fun. Um, and if you guys do like a penguin activity or something, you can have this principle. And the other one I showed you, the color one, 
um, and if you have like a penguin book and you can do this as like you know like a little a little unit study <laughs> okay and this is matching the different animals so you would teach them obviously this is a snake, a bird, a cat, and you can do the different sounds too. I don't know what sound a squirrel makes. You know, they, they sound a little scary, but you know, you can, what sound does a cat make? Meow, meow, and like stuff like that. This one, um, Good Night Moon. So it goes with this book here. And I have the little pieces. I just never Velcroed it. I just didn't feel like doing it. But, you know, they would match it up. And this is also vocabulary. Mouse, lamp, comb, brush. Stuff like that. Um, fruits. So, oh my goodness, I just dropped, <laughs> like, some cards. But I didn't laminate these. I mean, I didn't, um velcro these either but you know it just goes through the different fruits farm animals um this one is match the garments and shoes so you know this is also teaching them vocabulary as well and then let me just turn this i have the different parts of the body they have little kids books about like um like body books and stuff like that so you can get those too and you know you can also point to them like show them their eyes on themselves and stuff like that my daughter loves doing this page zoo animals so i didn't print everything at once i just printed this one out um and yeah, I printed them like slowly, like the ones that I wanted to print out that were from the, from um, JDA's package. So yeah, but anyway, this is just matching and learning more vocabulary as well. This is visual discrimination. So this one's a little bit hard because, you know, some of them look very similar and um, it can be a little confusing for the little kids. Um, but, you know, you would just match it together like okay so this little girl's holding a ball but then there's like two other little girls holding a ball so they really have to pay attention to um the image this one i got like seasonally for easter and it's little and big like put all the little oh look this is a messed up <laughs> That's okay. But it's put all the little bunnies here, the big bunnies here. And obviously if it's for Easter, you can read to them the tale of Peter Rabbit and then do this activity. Um, you can also take out these pieces and put them like, have like a little bowl or something and have them put like all the small ones there and small and the big ones there. Cause I think this confuses my daughter, like just lining them up like that. And if she has like a little bit of a hard time with this one, even though she knows which ones are small and big, I think if I were to put them in like a little container, have her sort like that, it would be a little easier for her. Oh, she loves this page. This, you know how many times she does this? A million. <laughs> so, you know, you just take them off, of course, and you say, where does the small fish go? Oh, in the small tank. Where does the medium fish go? Oh, the medium tank goes, swimming, swimming, and, you know, stuff like that. And this one I got from the Good and the Beautiful um, <laughs> website, and it's basically supposed to circle which one's the tallest, which one's the shortest in each of the rows. Or you don't have to circle, you could just point to it. And this one was another like Easter activity and it's, you know, like same and different, like which one is different? And then they would point to it or circle it or whatever they can do. And more big and small. And I this I just have her point to it. Like where are the small grapes? And she points to the small grapes. Where's the big dog? And she points to the big dog. These are the continents. Every time she takes off the, we do the contest and she's going to put on North America, she tries to give this to her dad. I don't know why. <laughs> like, she always reaches out to hand this to him, or when he's not home, she hands it to the door. And this one is um, the different, like, 
land animals and stuff like that. I don't know where I put all the cards for these, but you know, like the crab. Where does the crab live? Oh, in the water and you know, so forth. And these are the different seasons. So you can sing the season song um, if you want and just have them match it. This is a little bit hard because, you know, it's nothing there and they have to, you know, really pay attention and put the summer one with the beach. Oh, where's the snow? Which one looks like spring? Which one looks the same, looks similar to it? And then they can put that there. And then it also gets even harder because it has these cards where it's no background. It's just, you know, the little kids. This one today, I feel, and so you would go through each of, you know, the emotions. How do you feel today? And she always chooses this. I'm like, oh my goodness, you're always happy. And she's like, you know, I'm like, oh, you're so happy. And then we put it there. And then they have like feelings books as well that you can also get um, to talk, you know, to children about feelings. This is another visual discrimination. Another one. I printed, you know, these out for, it's summer, so... And this, oh, Lord. So this is <laughs> it all cut up and everything. And she loves doing this. So, you know, you would match the letters to the, um, you know, put the little band-aids on. So it's kind of like pretend play as well. And these, I just printed these out. So these are new. But she got them. And I was like, oh, I may even need to print it out. But it's like <laughs> for um, shadow matching. So you know, it's good for them to know that this, even though it's a shadow version of it, is still a dog. So dog, turtle, and, you know, everything else. Um, and I ran out of Velcro dots, so I don't have a Velcro one for that one. And I didn't print, there's more that you can print out. These are from Tot Schooling, so they're free. Um, and yeah, there's more that you can print out as well. Okay, and then this one, I, you know, I ran out of Velcro dots, so I didn't get to do this. And I need to take this out of here because when she sees this and she can't do it, she can't. Like, I try to get her to do it because I cut out the Band-Aids, but since they don't stick, oh, no, she's not having that. <laughs> and then this one was for St. Patrick's Day, so it's, of course, um, another visual discrimination where you would... You know match it and this one's a little bit easier for some reason from the other ones but it can be hard like with the little animals because like this kind of looks similar but no it goes here um so i like printing out like seasonal little things for her to do as well um oh i wanted to show you guys really fast like to with this farm book you can read to them this book, The Big Red Barn, this book is really, really good. So she really enjoys this book. And I hope this video helped you guys in some way. I hope you liked it. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye.